Don't be jealous you don't have a hat like this. This thing is so warm. Welcome to the shop. Jeff Allen off the gridiron. Today I am going to try to make a twig stove out of this old, well it used to be, triangular deep fryer basket. I thought I'd turn on the camera before I started this build just to say I did because I didn't for the MAGA talking and it turned out awesome. So we're going to take you step by step to see if we can make a twig stove out of an old fryer basket. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the Green Iron. Yep, this is going to be a triangular twig stove. So I just salvaged a piece of piano hinge and we're going to mark it and this is the angle that we're going to cut. So we're going to cut this panel off, this panel off. I want this stove to be able to fold up. So we've got uh, all the sides staying flat and what we're looking at is trying to get these two pieces to meet at that overlap at a 90 degree and then run a piano hinge down here. Now either going to cut that off and wrap it around the corner or just mount it flush off on uh, this angle here. So we're going to measure a piece of piano hinge and try something like that. Okay, so we're just looking at the top view, slid in the hinge, and I'm just aligning that to hinge that bottom plate. I want the bottom and the two sides to all fold in on the back, reducing the fiddle factor. Just all collapses down. Just put the rivet through there and the washer on the back because the holes are too big. side but oh well. <clears throat> now for the other side and the other hinge I'll make sure I do it the same
Do it yourself one night twig stove. Okay, there's my two hinges. I might have to grind down this edge a little bit. And the idea is that we're going to fit on there like so. Back hinge goes like this first and tips up, tips up out of the way and then these two sides are going to hinge closed. Man this is coming together, nice. This is going to be the tricky part now is deciding where this hinge goes. There's so many pieces to the puzzle. I'm going to go to tape these outside pieces in place so they don't kick out on me. Anytime you're using the grinder and cutter, everything's a little far from square, but we just want it to be functional. I think we're getting there. I think we're close. so it articulates a little better. That's the bottom ash pan. Now we'll attach the sides. It's coming. One more side to go. Well, my craftsmanship started to suffer <laughs> at the end a little bit, but here's what I've come up with. Bottom plate folds up and the tube fold in. There we go, something like that. Still working on these tabs. We might come up with something a little different so it folds a little flatter. Open up, drop the back. And it sits on these tabs on the inside. There's a downward view. And we still have a handle to carry it. Now I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with that or how I'm gonna have the front really close but uh, it's a start triangle twig stove it's getting there okay my plan now is to cut a gate and this the the pointed side will actually be the back and this flat piece will drop away on this hinge and I'm going to prop it about there and that's going to be the loading door for all the fuel. 
Okay, there is the uh, the first prototype, the triangle folding stove. I'll come up with a real cool name for it in the uh, in my post, but uh, there you go. Drops open, sits on the two little feet on the side. Still working on a way to uh, hinge, lock the back so it doesn't pull open. But then there's the front. The front's actually the back. And from there, you feed the wood into your twig stove this way. Being a triangle, it should balance on any, any surface, in theory. I'm going to grind off this handle because I don't really see practicality for this handle. I might use it on something else, but I'm going to grind this off. So what I'm trying now is making u-shaped pins to go through and this is going to be my grates what we're going to do instead of single pins we're going to do double pins okay i'm fiddling with the the rack and the pin system here for the grates and i think i figured it out with the side opening over here if i put the pin clear across this way it really binds that angle it really binds and pinches that angle together and those are super solid pins so I'm just going to clean up this angle so that uh, goes through a little easier and that'll be our rack system. pin through there. Again, I'm going to work on this angle a bit. But that really prevents this, this outside edge from, uh, from opening up to any, any great degree. With that little seam, that fold over seam right there. Any of the pressure of those pins going through. Hold it in place. In fact, I have to work at those pins to really pull them out, which is not such a bad thing. A little too much, that one. I think I still have to put some more angle on this. First triangular firebox in an evening. That'll easily take a uh, a pot in there. Well, here's my uh, sig. It's approximately the a one liter fuel bottle, but that fits in there just for reference. And I think. Uh, that's uh, a good size. In terms of a diameter that this stove would probably accommodate. Just about three and a half, three and three quarters, possibly four inch surface or container. So that works. That'll work. And then for takedown, again, a little bit massive to take down. Okay, pull the one pin, bottom folds up, sides fold together, and we could probably do something ingenious with this hook just to keep everything. Or what exactly, but put the hook, lay the hook right in the bottom, 
And which way does it lie better? Like that. And that closes right up rather nicely. Overall dimensions right now is eight, eight by seven. And I'll find a little bag or container. If not, it'll just slide down in the, uh, the back of my, uh, my pack. And uh, I'll give it a try. Maybe get some high temperature paint on there. Let's see how long it takes me to put it together. And again, when you become more familiar with your equipment, like that not too much of a fiddle factor at all just the one uh, one piece and one bar so you, as long as you don't lose that you're uh, in good shape thanks for watching okay I couldn't even wait to get my tripod out I got a crazy hat on and uh, two hours in the shop and we're done a triangle that's the shape, I guess. Pyramid twig stove. All collapses down. There's the pieces. It's an eight by seven. And to open it up, the floor drops down, the ash pan. Sits on the feet on either side. I guess you can't see that from here. Take the, uh, the grate, slide it through, lock the front, and there's your stove. Sits down, accesses all the, all the tinder from the front. Okay. That locks shut if you don't want it up, just with the, just presses under that eye. Presses under that uh, eye ring there. And to take down the stove, you just pull the pin, flip the bottom, both sides, done. Eight by seven, the reverse process, drop the floor. And again, that will accommodate probably a three and a half, possibly a four inch container. Can't wait to try to see what it fits. There's the bottom. So you have one, two, three, four tabs holding it all in. And then when you close it in, just push it in like this. Pull the pin out the side, and everything collapses down. Hope you like it. It's been Jeff off the gridiron. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your outdoors. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. And if we don't see you in the garage, hopefully we we'll see you in the woods. There you go, guys. My triage twig stove, triangle twig stove. I'll have to think of something catchy. Maybe you can offer some suggestions in the comments below. Anyways, Jeff off the grid. Iron, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, enjoy your outdoors. Bye for now. Can't wait to get this working tomorrow. Can't wait to spark it up. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that. That little eye ring right there.
Look at that. Keeps everything together. Oh, choice. Take care. That's awesome. Okay, first burn of our trig stove. Trig triangle. And play on words. See that birch bark go up, Mandy? Oops. And it's a real fine, fine material. holes through the side, lots of breathability. Wow, look at that. That looks awesome. really doing well now, isn't it? Nice little gate on the front. Okay. See how long it takes to boil some water. We're going to get more material. Okay. Twigs and sticks. So that can's is sitting on our cross member in there, just about this height. We can also lower it down a little lower. Our cup's steaming though, that's cool. First burn of our trig stove instead of a twig stove because it's the shape of a triangle. We'll play on words. Trig stove. That's a funny name. Landon's want to put those pieces in. Just drop them in. Or just drop them down the top. One at a time if you want. Certainly a high volume, high volume stove it can take a lot of, a lot of the bigger, bigger pieces. Nice opening on the front. Extra long pieces can hang out the front if you have to. If you want to prop this up, you can do that. Prop it up with a really tall piece and almost feed it like a rocket stove. trying to burn here giving us the first test test burn test run Burning really well. 
got some residue from uh, some tape I had holding the joint together while I was riveting. That'll come right off. Alternatively, you can put this back spacer in here and drop the grill inside the front and have the grill on there. That way it can accommodate a larger pot and I can get the dimensions on that pot but you can see it fits close to the back. and it hangs over the front just about an inch. But for all intents and purposes, that distance there is not gonna matter. And it's not, uh, it's actually quite, quite stable as it is. I think that's a deal. That works. I've let the stove go out now. We can see almost how clean everything's burning in there. All the holes in the ash pan allow for real complete burn. Eight by seven, all comes together.
ready to light. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, obviously today we uh, witnessed the newest piece of my collection, the Trig Stove. And uh, this was a build I built last night. And that is my latest invention for my bushcraft kit. I wanted a quick takedown stove. Obviously, it's one of those things, like if you know me, I always like to make things rather than buy them. And this was from an old deep fryer, kind of a triangular deep fryer grill, a deep fryer basket. And I was able to see, see its potential and design a quick takedown stove that all packets up. Dimensions are 8x7. It's got a roughly a 4x3 opening on the front. The basket drops down in the, in the front. Four drops down. Cups all together. This cross member here, this almost like grate, comes across all the way through. Fix the lap joint. And there is, it's not meant to turn upside down. There it is. Now additional, now additional modifications to this. Saw me create this little U-shaped ring slips through the back and then again my triangular grate which was a straight cooking grate that I all bent the wires to a bit of an apex there that goes inside and sits on the top like that so you can grill on it I had to cut away the front so it would accommodate my larger kettle on the front with just a little bit of an overhang but that's that size of kettle what I might do is try to cut and fold back here this piece of flange on there but uh, I like the cleanness of that being off there and you can set your mug either on top remove that grate and a support pin and then the cup sits right inside there very very nice very clean quick way to do that alternatively if you had a larger pot the the circumference of the pot should be able to sit on this outside ring I haven't had a chance to try that yet if that proves to be a little bit of a challenge I can always cut cut and tab and fold over these outside edges to accommodate a larger pot through the the top of the opening but for now stove closes door closes on the front pull the pin push the bottom in sides collapse down and then through the ring and it all closes up nice super compact tuck that in the back of your kit right alongside your full uh, full size uh, fireplace grid and you're good to go i've been jeff off the gridiron thanks for joining me on this build don't forget to click like subscribe and share thanks for watching see you next time enjoy your adventures.